In today's message, I'm gonna just pretty much show you how it's very easy to think you know what righteousness looks like, to know what you think is appropriate in church because you grew up seeing it, and then you come to find out that some of this stuff that happens in the church, the most high y'all prohibited it. And today we're gonna prove it. How many of you grew up in church seeing where they sold plates, food plates, after service, they held, you know, fundraisers in the church, buying and selling goods, desserts, candies, bookstores. Oh yeah, for Christian diet, that's a big one. Church got a bookstore in it. Today we're talking about, it. today we getting into that truth of the most high, y'all. Forget what religion has said. Let's talk about it. to the Most High, Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today, I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, for many years, I grew up in the Christian church and was a part of Christianity. Even when I grew up and was of age, you know, I still didn't acknowledge what the truth was, didn't really care. You know, most people, due to their own ignorance and lack of actually reading the word, you know, conform to religion, but not righteousness. And you can find not only in the book of Matthew, but you can find it in Mark. You can find it in Luke where the Messiah Hamashiach, who religion calls Jesus Christ or JC pretty much went in the temple and flipped tables. I'm talking about WWE flip tables because they was in there buying and selling, buying and selling. Today, I'm here to tell you that if you go to a church and they're buying and selling, you know, they're doing it to, 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 to pay for entertainment to come, a band come, you know, to be able to pay their way. They're doing it to be able to pay for a trip. If your church got a bookstore in it, selling books, while service is going on or while service isn't going on. You know, if they're selling candies, desserts, all of that stuff on church grounds, I'm here today to tell you that that is wrong. Why do they do it? Hey, the church does not conform to the ways of the Most High Yah. They conform to the ways of religion. You're not gonna get this kind of truth on Sunday. You're not gonna get it. See, the Most High Yah will expose the truth to you and give you the truth when you obey what the word is. But when you don't obey what the word is and when you fall in line with religion, that's the reason why you ain't gonna know this stuff. This is the reason why your pastor ain't gonna teach this stuff. Why? Because they want the money. Their God is their belly. That's another scripture right there. So today we're getting into the gospel of Matthew chapter 21, verse 12 through 13. And Yahshua went into the temple of Elohim and cast out all of them that sold and bought in the temple and overthrew the tables of money changers and the seats of them that sold doves and said unto them, it is written, my house shall be called the house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. These folk is in there buying and selling. Now, I'm here to tell you, if you think Sunday is the truth of the most high, Yah. You probably in line with these folk doing it. Well, we doing it for a good reason. I understand, you know, you had good intent, but good intent don't mean it's the truth of the most high Yah. I tell you, these are the signs that you look for and be like, man, this person got a this person got a, a, a PhD, a master's degree in divinity, in divinity and all this stuff, but yet they're doing the very same thing that the Messiah was flipping tables for. And these folks call themselves following the Messiah. We're following Jesus. Just because you got a dog on a fist sticker on the back of your car don't mean you following Jesus. See, I tell you, you got to get off that grape juice of believing in communion, which is actually the feast of unleavened bread that you eating and realize that the Messiah didn't turn water into grape juice. He turned it into wine. 
and he told them to drink it. But according to your teachings, you be like, if you touch wine, you going to hell. All of this nonsense, religious nonsense, ain't no truth in it. If they speak not of this law and of this testimony, hey, it's because there ain't no light in them. Ain't no light in them. This kind of message right here, people don't like, especially if you're the ones wanting to buy and sell in the church. Closer to God Ministries, kicking the gun barrel straight. Bow.